Over half the population in Southeast Europe lives in cities. And this number is expected to grow fast. Living in cities or urbanization has clear benefits for growth and efficiency. But these benefits can only be realized if cities are managed efficiently and effectively. Southeast Europe has gone through a structural change from planned economies to market-based economies. This transition, combined with the increase in urban population, poses multiple challenges to this region. The World Bank and the Austrian government have launched a new capacity development program promoting innovative and sustainable cities, which provides cities and local governments with practical tools for decision-making and facilitates sharing relevant examples and practices from cities that are similar to the majority of those in Southeast Europe. The financial crisis continues because there are countries uh, in Europe um, which cannot afford to service the bonds that they have issued. So it's unsustainable debt, frankly, which lies at the root of the financial crisis. The world is facing with many challenges. Uh, you know, more pollution, greenhouse emissions. Uh, we have uh, congestion cities, air pollution, depletion resources. Simply, we need lo only look at the case of urban slums that are developed in various locations and the kind of huge differentials that can exist socially and the adverse social impacts that result to appreciate the fact that this does have to receive attention. How do you make balance between the much needed economic growth and the respect of the public interest and the citizens' interest for the good public service? The first aspect, which is quite important and which is different from how we usually think of capacity development, is that we seek to build the capacity of all the stakeholders in cities who are needed to come together to make change happen to achieve results. Secondly, what we call knowledge exchange and connectivity, which is activities where we're putting you directly in touch with practitioners and working together with them. So in Kosovo, it's a clear division between local and central obligations towards EU integration and the processes. Our municipalities are heavily involved in the process on EU integration. We, uh, so all the municipalities do have the offices uh, and the officers who deals with the EU integration. Through NGOs, through uh, association of munip municipalities and through associations of uh, professionals to get involved into all possible cooperations with colleagues, cities, regions. 87 laws who are very important for the local cell government in Macedonia was changed in this very short period. And that was the main problem why the civil, cent, uh, uh, the civil servants in the municipalities were put on the very big challenge. We are rushing to adopt legislation very fast to comply with EU with no real consideration on capacities and how we are going to comply. So from that perspective, I think, from an NGO perspective, I think we need to think on that. Od rekonstrukcije starog mosta i puštanja svečane ceremonije koja je bila obilježena, rekao bi, u cijelom svijetu, broj turista se u petorostručio. Podatak da u 2008. godini, složit ćete se u nekim okvirima crnogosti za istosto velika sredstva, 57 miliona eura je bilo privatnih investicija. To je dakle decentralizacija kako ovlasti, tako i fiskalnih sredstava. Više alata lokalnoj upravi. U developing countries where 60, 70, 80% of homes do not have cars, high quality pedestrian infrastructure shows respect for human dignity, shows that a citizen uh, at, who walks is equally important than to one that has a car. Local governments and their associations, including NAWA, should be involved from the outset of negotiations, consultation, and priority settings. Action-oriented learning, meaning that it's really focused on, on problems. So it's not theoretical, but it's very problem-focused. During the past regimes, things were not possible the formal way. You had to go the informal way. There was no other way, otherwise you couldn't reach anything. 
And now people have to get used to it that you can basically, if you want to, a, a, a construction permit. And you can get it if you fulfill the legal obligations and, and all you have to, you get it. You don't have to bribe someone or need to have a, a cousin in the office, etc., etc. What is more difficult is how to implement your strategy. How to integrate your strategy with your budget, with uh, your long-term financial plan. Focusing on the business climate rather than focusing on individual sectors or individual business projects makes the city a good place for business. And we hope uh, that over the coming three years uh, we will have a very fruitful cooperation to our mutual benefit. This is not something where we want something great to happen for Austria. Uh, we want something great to happen together for the region. This particular initiative will set the stage for a significant advancement in the role of sustainability in the cities in Southeast Europe. We seek, as we go forward, to promote peer-to-peer -peer learning, which go across regional boundaries into global connectivity of knowledge.